Hi. Um, good evening, friends. It's Sandy. So today, what we are going to discuss so resume how we have to create resumes. See, on screen, I'm showing a resume. No, already I opened one of the resumes for a sample purpose for the benefit of you people. So with the help of this resume, how we have to create the resumes? So then you will get after go through this video, you gain some idea about the resumes. I mean CV, curriculum vitae, how we have to create the biodata after completion of your UG degree or after completion of your PG degree or PhD, Doctor of Philosophy. So like that, any degree, I mean any degree, after completion of your any degree, how you have to create the resume. See here, um, see just open your MS Word, Microsoft Office. Then uh, just see here, I already typed some uh, typed format. I'm, I'm showing whatever the document I'm showing on the screen. It is already typed format. Already I made it for the purpose of explanations. For you, also for you, what you have to do? So just use um, uh, open the uh, Microsoft uh, Microsoft uh, Office. Then there you have to type. Uh, so first of all, you have to type your name followed by your mobile phone, prescribed your mobile phone, as well as below that you have to type your email ID. Here I typed uh, here I typed uh, email ID HSM Global EDU so Sandy2020 at gmail.com. So for example, I typed here. Then after that, coming to the point here, what you have to type first of all, object to aim. What's your aim? So if you're going to if you're going to join any concern, any industry, any company, or any organization, if you're going to join, so what is your aim? So how so here I type to pursue a challenging career by working in a highly competitive atmosphere. So you are going to work in any competitive or any competitive atmosphere you may go have a capable. That's that is the thing uh, aim, I mean objective. You're emerging as a leader of group, organization, and contributing something significant to mankind. So for any atmosphere, uh, you are, I have a capable like that. Um, this person Sandy is uh, telling. So like that, you people want to create a, uh, how uh, for any atmosphere, how we are going to be like that. First upon your auto type. Then coming to initial itself here, uh, if you have any experience, then you have to type here, executive summary. Or otherwise, if you may be a fresher, then it's uh, no need. But for my mind, so for myself, so for example, I'm see somebody, uh, not myself, or somebody so have experience, then as yeah, so initial itself, then so you have to um, type here, executive summary. Executive summary, previously where you worked, for example, so you currently currently are working working as a director for here so for example i typed here working as a director in hsm global educational services tripadi tripadi uh, i mean andhra pradesh so andhra pradesh state so like that so you have to, if you have already uh, already your experience then you have to go for uh, so you have to go for like this so otherwise, no, you are you are not an experienced person. Then it's not it's just it's just to simply keep it uh, fresh. Then one more uh, uh, experience also here. I added working as a research and a technical head in ATS Journal Publishers Private Limited, Coimbatore. It is uh, see like that. Uh, see, uh, you have to type every one of you. Right, is it clear? I think so. Yeah, uh, uh, you are very clear. I think so. Every one of you. So like this, everyone need to create the biodata first of all. Then after that, coming to the point, coming to the point, see academic credentials. So academic credentials, okay, so where you completed your um, SSLC, where you completed your HSC, where you completed your BE, where you completed your MTech, where uh, did you completed your um, PhD, uh, research scholar. See here, this person, uh, the Sandy is uh, a PhD scholar, so that um, here, uh, see, I written a research scholar. So instead of that, you may be here, you may be a degree holder means so after higher secondary or a intermediate college. Uh, so you have to write, for example, BBA, uh, then the MTech instead of MTech, you may be able to suppose you, you did MBA, then instead of MTech, you write, uh, um, uh, what is that, MBA, then, uh, so then PhD, then you go for PhD. So, so whatever the degree you studied at last, that should be comes in the first, first thing, that should be comes in the first thing. Then one by one, one by one. So you have to follow. You have to follow the descending order. So when you're going to write the uh, resume, you have to follow the descending order. Uh, okay, descending order of your qualifications, right? Then so everywhere, wherever you are going to type your um, degree uh, with a specialization, specialization followed by the uh, university or college name, uh, you should specify the CGP of your um, uh, 
courses. How much is CGPA you secured at the time of MTech, MBA, or BBA, or BA or BTech, anything and all. You should specify whether you may be passed by first class with a distinction or first class like that. It is very essential thing. So based on this, based on this only, the, um, the people, uh, I mean, they are going to shortlist your bio data. They are going to shortlist your CV resume. So is it clear? The next one thing, so certification under training. This person, see this person already, who's that? This Sandy. Uh, Sandy already got some certification and training. So if uh, you uh, see a uh, supposing like you, if you uh, did any courses like C languages, Java, uh, J2WE, uh, CCNA, CCNA, CCMP, um, C Sharp, uh, .NET, um, web designing courses, any courses until you, you did uh, so during your um, courses, after completion of your uh, BE, BTEC degree, or BBA, MBA, whatever the degree you did, after that here you have to type C, such a way you have to type. Uh, here certification and training, this person C did number of C, he acted as a resource person for one day webinar, um, the Oton obstacle into opportunities, uh, 19th September 2020 at SAD Institute of Technology, Madurai, Tamil Nadu. So like that, see, uh, as a person you, so how was he, on what way you have to write, for example, see, um, I completed my SC for instead of the, instead of writing, see, like this, see, I completed my uh, C, C++, Java, .NET course, um, on uh, C, C, C++, Java, .NET, uh, uh, that particular process you see where you completed for example uh, 19th september 2020 at um, uh, at for example iim uh, mumbai like that you have to type uh, here certification or training so if you whatever how much certificate you have just to follow one by one one by one just to follow to follow by just like a uh, point by point you have to write if you write point by point then it, uh, your resume will come severely uh, most of the people uh, while writing their resume so what they are going to do, do the common uh, a common minor uh, issue simply they used to keep uh, simply they used to keep a uh, minimum uh, one or two pages so most probably resume want to create minimum three to four pages if you have a resume if you have your uh, cv it looks like somewhat better so always okay right um, so uh, one by one, whatever they see, whatever the courses you do during your uh, degree or during your master degree or a uh, doctor of philosophy, then you should specify here yeah, certification and training. Or if you don't have, that's not a problem. It's not a major problem. Okay, right. But if you have a certification, it will be a very good thing uh, for uh, going to uh, attend any interview. It is very helpful for um, uh, boost upping of your uh, steps. It is one step to enter into the organization. It is very. Uh, uh, plus points. So, an additional plus point, additional advantages to enter into any organizations, industry or company or any organizations. Okay. Then, coming to the point, see, these are all certifications and there's some research kind of work. So this person, this handy person, did a number of research work. Uh, he acted as a technical head and a junior scientist uh, so that he had a number of uh, works. But coming to uh, your point of view, whatever the courses you did, just you type it. That's enough more than here. Then uh, moving to the next uh, achievements. So when you see for, at, at the time of SSLC, at the time of HSC, higher secondary school, I mean uh, intermediate, uh, uh, intermediate uh, level, I mean uh, the degree level, I mean master degree level, master degree, master degree level, and uh, doctor of philosophy. So uh, you, you secured any achievement. For example, this person secured SSLC, SSLC uh, for class first. So out of 500, he secured 402. Like that, you should specify your uh, achievements. So it, it will be the identification of you. It will be the identification of you uh, when you are sending your resume to the various uh, sectors. Uh, simply based on this uh, achievement, based on your achievement, they will shortlist your resume. So mostly it is uh, um, very, uh, very advantageous for uh, shortlisting of your resumes okay right um then coming to the point some uh, it skill uh, so technology based on the technology skills for example language what are the languages you know if it is uh, some person btech graduates if they belongs to a computer uh, electronics and communication engineering department so what are the languages they know for example for here i written c language or hardware and software installations and c plus plus here yeah, you may be able to write c plus 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 c plus plus dot net like that, uh, longer if you know that you should specify as then database MS access no no that then assembly language from C eighty eighty five eighty six eighty fifty one and the CAD tools 
uh, computer aided design tools what are the uh, tools they know that it um, is very log matlab these wise multi multi sim ccs tasm so like that and um, see if you whatever the skill whatever the i am uh, uh, technology engineering and technology based um, uh, tools if you know that you just specify it here so the title should be it skill set if you specify it is also very good so it is also very good um, good thing okay right so um Uh, this this is the additional quality so uh, yeah, then into the next move into the point interpersonal skill Inter, interpersonal skill so in case, see what i written eagerness to learn and implement new technology teamwork uh, good communication skill so interpersonal skill means uh, how you are managing how you are managing with your team how you are leading the team uh, if as a one of the person how you are uh, how you have a communication skill uh, how you have um, um, the uh, leading uh, the team leading capability like that inter it comes under uh, interpersonal skill so that here i written you can just go on and implement new technology as any in your mind any situation team or uh, yes i have a capable to work with a team uh, i have a good communication skill like that you have to specify for that uh, what is this here i written interpersonal skills then moving to the organizational experience yes already you given an uh, executive summary no so um, if you want to specify once again here shortly Uh, here, if, as an experienced person, here I uh, you see uh, here I given shortly uh, where I I worked previously, where I'm working now currently. Like that, shortly I given a summary. But if you want to give brief explanation, if you suppose if you would like to give some brief explanation about your um, past concern where you worked, suppose if you want to specify, then you specify um, okay extra organizational experience where you worked something here. Um, some institutions uh, he worked like that and see uh, yeah, where, where, so what period he worked um, like that and see you need to specify so whether you work as um, in charge or whether, whether you are um, um, as a coordinator of any organi- any um, program like that you have to specify and uh, how much project you as a research uh, research um, uh, and the technical head how much project he guided see here guided in a many project for the beta chemi and tech students and um, see Most uh, even uh, what is that actually a uh, number of things he educated even graded as IIT IIT students also he graded a uh, more number of projects so like that if you want to ex- specify like that like that you have to specify then finally yeah, the final the final at last important point personal details so name so personal details is uh, followed by name gender um, date of birth you know, father's name mother mother name. address as well as a communication address so where you are living uh, where you are living temporarily that's the thing but a communication and finally declaration declaration whatever the content whatever the information is given whether it is correct or not you have to type here i here may declare that you have written particulars are true to my knowledge like that you have to you have to type this is very most important point then after that left side corner you have to type in place so uh, date is very important as we uh, here you have to type uh, on the right side of the corner you have to type it was truly or sincerely or uh, something uh, you have to type so below that you have to specify, to specify your name right then in the, uh, above your name you put your uh, signature so this is the thing um, how we have to create the resume so, um, sample resume for um, creating for designing the resume curriculum i mean cv so we have n number of um, ideas so this is one way to create um, by data so we have a more number of uh, we, um, video uh, cv we have a more number of uh, um, ideas how we have to create the bio data so just uh, friends you see this uh, video i think i hope you you will gain a knowledge how we have to create a um, cv so you just keep in uh, touch with the uh, sandy space puppy channel youtube channel uh, youtube channel so once you like you subscribe and from see you put one likes as well as you just from um, see do one thing you for see uh, kindly forward my youtube channel link to your um, loved friends so it will be very useful for uh, every one of you thank you friends thank you thank you